Hello friends, uh, my name is Jalal. Welcome to the third video in the series of uh, building the mostly printed CNC machine. In the previous video, I did assemble the, the main frame of the machine. Uh, and in this uh, video, uh, I'm going uh, to continue uh, assembling the remain of the machine. Uh, and we will start with the Z axis block. Uh, in order uh, to assemble the Z-axis, uh, we need the following. The two uh, Z-axis rail tubes uh, drilled as uh, we mentioned uh, according to the uh, figure in the conduit page. Uh, the tool mount uh, piece, the Z-lower and Z-motor brackets, uh, the two uh, nut trap pieces, the T8 lead screw, uh, one bearing and one coupler, one uh, stepper motor, uh, 18 uh, M4 uh, nuts, uh, four of them with the plastic uh, lock, uh, eight uh, 20 millimeter M4 uh, bullet, and the three uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, M3 screws and some kind of uh, super glue or uh, any kind of glue to fix the nuts in place. We will uh, start by uh, placing the uh, M4 nuts in uh, their places in the tool mount piece. Then the better way is to use uh, the M4 uh, bolt as a guide put the M4 uh, bullet from this side and the bolt will be in this position so the fiber is facing uh, outside just hang uh, one or two teeth really thick super glue so I'm putting a little and this way the nuts and are, are placed in correct position and aligned to the hole. I'm going to repeat the process for the all nuts. As you can see, all the nuts are sitting in place. I'm going to leave them to dry. We are going to repeat the process for the four nuts in this uh, nut trap pieces.
we are going to leave them to cure and be back later now after the super glue uh, had cured we will insert the nut traps into the Z rail and align the holes with these two holes uh, insert the nut trap Uh, the pointed uh, end up I'm going to align the holes as much as possible The same process for the second tube, the pinned head first. I have a misalignment in the holes I drilled in the tube in the first place so I hope I will have no problem when I mount the tool mount after we aligned the holes now we are going to assemble the tool mount piece with the two rails uh, using four uh, 20 millimeter M4 bolts. Face these two rails on the tubes, and these are the two holes where the M4 bolts are going through. Do not tighten. Do not tighten the screw to the end. Leave them uh, loose for the controlling later. I'm going to repeat the process for the second tube. As we said, left, left them a little loose. Now, uh, insert the bearing into uh, the Z lower bracket and make sure that it uh, sits in place. And slide the Z lower bracket 
onto the Z rail. Uh, the bearing side uh, will face um, up. I mean, uh, it's not facing the tool mount piece. It will face up, and it will be in the opposite side of the tool mount. So the bearing and in this side, and the tool mount will be in this side. Slide it all the way uh, to just above the tool mount. Now uh, insert the stepper uh, motor shaft into the coupler and make sure that the flat part of the shaft is facing one of the uh, screws in the coupler. Uh, the insertion will be half the way of the coupler, not to the end, just half the way of the coupler. First tighten the screws which is facing the, the flat uh, part of the shaft. And then tighten the other screw. Use the three uh, ten millimeter M three screws uh, to mount the stepper motor uh, to the Z motor bracket from the flat side in this position. So I'm going first to insert the screws Tighten them well, we are not going back to them. Now add the Z lower bracket to the rail just in top. Now align the rail and make sure 
that they are flat using the table surface for that. Now tighten the M4 uh, bolt in the tool mount with the rear. Make sure the, the rail are still flat. Tighten the other two bolts. Now slide back the Z lower bracket to where. Uh, the bearing is just going to touch the coupler. It's keeping falling down. Make sure that the bearing is uh, just uh, touching the coupler, not pressing it. Make sure that the rails are still flat. And try to keep the space between the two brackets uh, as much as possible uh, the same. Now put the M4 nut with the plastic lock to the hexagonal hole of the brackets and tighten the M4 bolt. Do not exaggerate the tightening to not break the plastic. Now insert 
the T8 lead screw through the bearing to the coupler. Make sure that the T8 lead screw is touching the motor shaft from inside and tighten the screws of the coupler. In some cases, uh, if the internal hole of the bearing is a little narrow uh, for the T8 uh, lead screw, you just have to sand uh, it or uh, filling uh, the T8 lead screw uh, a bit, uh, just about uh, 30 or 40 millimeter, the required length uh, to go through the bearing to the coupler that was the z block now i'm going uh, to start assembling the middle section uh, and it will be uh, in five stage in the first stage uh, we will need uh, the two uh, xyz pieces and eight uh, 30 millimeter uh, m8 bolts and eight uh, bearing uh, first start with the put the bolt into the bearing and uh, through the holes of the xyz piece there is uh, four holes for each piece Put a nut and tie, tighten it well. Uh, this uh, hole have an hexagonal side, but the middle one is a little tricky, so be a patient. Uh, repeat the process for the remaining uh, bolts and bearing for both pieces.
uh, this was the first stage we are leaving them aside in the second stage we will need uh, the two xy pieces and uh, eight uh, 30 millimeter m8 bolts and uh, two 40 millimeter m8 bolts and 10 bearing uh, insert the 30 millimeter m8 bolt to the hold of the xy piece and let it uh, go through just about 10 millimeter put one bearing and after that put the nut and tighten it also it is uh, a little tricky Repeat the process for the remain holes in both pieces. After that, you are going to put the 40 millimeter M8 bolt to the hole in the knob with the single hole, not the two hole. It will be the single hole knob, and uh, these two screws. The designer is recommending that they will can uh, opposite. So, uh, if you are going to put uh, the first from the short side of this knob, so the other it will be from the long side of this knob. So, put the bolt into the hole from the short uh, knob and put a bearing into the inner pocket 
and complete inserting the bullet to the end uh, put the nut and tighten it as I said the first one we inserted it from the short side from the short knob this will inserting it from the long knob so put the bearing into the inner pocket complete the inserting and put the knob and tighten it Left them is two bolt, uh, forty millimeter bolt, uh, loosen. Uh, they will be affecting uh, the gantry movement on the X and Y tubes in the middle section. Uh, the designer uh, named uh, these two bolts uh, tension bolt A, uh, and the reason. Uh, of uh, making the two heads opposite for each other later when we are going to assemble the head of these two bolts will be upward and uh, as the designer's recommendation it will give a better look That was the stage two. We'll leave them aside and go to them later. In the third uh, stage, we will need uh, the two XYZ pieces uh, assembled earlier and the two XY pieces assembled earlier uh, as well. Uh, also, we will need uh, the two gantry spacer and the only 130mm M8 bolt with uh, two uh, bearing. We will start uh, by inserting the long bullet to the XYZ uh, piece. Uh, from the formed side not the flat side from the formed side and uh, into smallest hole just like that uh, don't insert it to the end take one of the gantry spacer also uh, insert the bullet into the smallest hole and uh, let the end of the bullet uh, appear about 10 millimeter uh, take the XY piece which have the short knob uh, facing the 40 millimeter uh, bullet head and align the short knob to this hole at the same time align the bullet to enter the smallest hole in the XY So aligning this and aligning the bullet 
to insert the hole. Take one bearing and put it in the inner pocket of the XY piece and complete inserting the bullet so the end of the bullet also appear about 10 millimeter. Now take the other XY piece which have the long knob facing the which have the long knob facing the 40 millimeter bullet and align this long knob to this hole in the same time align the bullet end to the small hole in the XY. So just like this. Also as you see the bullet end is just appear a little. Now take the second bearing and put it to the inner hole of the XY complete inserting the bullet as you can see it is little tricky but with some passion now take the other uh, gun tree spacer and put it from the smallest hole now take the uh, XYZ piece and make sure that these knobs are going to their place here and here and aligning the end of the bullet to go through the small hole so as you see now take the bullet and uh, tighten it uh, so the, it, it is going just to touch the plastic left this bullet a little loose As you see, it's loose and everything aligned. So this was the third stage. The designer uh, named this long bullet uh, tension bullet B, and its uh, effect the perpendicularity of the X and Y uh, middle rail. In the fourth stage, we will need uh, our assembled center section and the brass T8 uh, nut 
four uh, 10 millimeter M3 screws and four uh, 65 uh, millimeter M8 bolt because I don't have the 65 millimeter long I, have, I will use the 70 millimeter it will not affect uh, much just it will take longer time to tighten the bolt and of course for bearing we will start with the T8 nut put it in place in the bigger hole uh, and use the uh, 10 millimeter M3 screws to fix it The designer is recommending for a better alignment with the T8 lead screw to lift them uh, a little loose by tightening them to the end and then loosen them back half a turn like so you don't have to put the four of them but I'm going to put it just for a better look as I said I'm tightening them to the end and losing them back half a turn. Now uh, put the bearing into the inner pocket of the XYZ piece and from the outside insert the bullet to the hole of the piece through the bearing to the end and put the nut and tighten it. Repeat the process for the remaining bullets. Also left this bullet a little loose just that the knob is touching the plastic those bullets uh, the designer named them uh, tension bullet uh, C and they are affecting the perpendicularity of the Z axis with the surface of the work table this 
this was the fifth stage. In the fifth stage, we will need uh, the middle tubes uh, for the uh, X and Y axis. Uh, our uh, pre-assembled uh, Z block and of course our middle uh, section. Uh, first, we will insert the tubes in place and uh, see what we have. Of course, it should be some tension when you are inserting the tubes and that's important for uh, that all the bearings is uh, touching the tubes or not. As you see, the movement I think the movement is good. I'm controlling the the bearing that all of them are touching the tubes or not. Doing a slight movement to the tube left and right, up and down. There is no... Uh, there is a little rocking. Yes, I don't know if the camera is showing it or not. This bearing, as you see, it's turning freely, it's not touching. It's barely touching the tube, not like this. This one, as you see, when I'm turning it, the tubes also is moving. But this there is some spacing here. Uh, let we see the other tube. The movement, it's not uh, the first one, there is more uh, pressure on the tube. I'm going to control uh, the bearings too, if all of them are touching the tube or not. This axis is good, it is uh, the Y axis I think.
Abi. I don't feel the movement. I think uh, putting the two tubes did some pressure on the central bolt, the B tension bolt. So the No, there is still some tracking for this axis, the X axis tube. It's still turning. I think I'm going to tighten this bolt, the long one. Maybe it will make some pressure and squeezing this. Hmm, no, let me put the Y tube first. I don't know. I will think I will get tightening this for the perpendicularity uh, controlling. Not now, I'm not going to tighten it now. Yes, that was for the X and Y uh, central tubes. Now we can add the uh, Z block to the central section. Uh, pay attention that the X and Y in this position is determining the corner of the tool mount. And it uh, must be to the zero corner uh, that you had planned that your tool mount uh, will be facing. Put the two Z tubes in place and align the T8 uh, lead screw to the T8 uh, nut. I'm sorry, the camera is moved. Yes, just turning the T8 lead screw, the Z block is continued to insert the For the Z block, there is no, no much controlling you have to do now. Uh, left it to the end when you are uh, finishing the whole frame. And later, as we said, uh, those are the uh, uh, tension uh, bullet C, which are controlling the perpendicularity of the Z. Uh, tubes 
with the surface of that work table. And as you can see, this is the middle section. I'm going to check the perpendicularity now. Uh, as you see, we insert all the tubes in place. The Y axis still have some tension and movement. And the perpendicularity Uh, the angle is uh, bigger than 90 degrees so I'm going to tension some bolts the bullet tension bolt A and B are responsible for the X and Y perpendicularity so let's do the job. I think I did the uh, same course, the angle. The angle is open more than before. I'm going to lose them. I choose to work with this because they are the easiest. But I think we should deal with the long one.
a little bit there. But still not. I don't know if I'm doing it in the right way or not. The angle is now better. The movement of the reels is much smoother. The designer uh, in one note is mentioned that if you didn't get the perfect angle, uh, operate the machine in in this position, and after a while of operating, uh, go back and control the angle. So maybe in in time. Uh, the move in the movement uh, things may be be better I don't know uh, also uh, this controlling of the perpendicularity uh, must be done in this uh, stage uh, not later uh, because uh, when you are going to assemble it with uh, with the belt and uh, the gantry and the frame uh, it will be harder because the belt are going to to do an extra uh, tension to the tubes so I think I'm going to leave it as it is I'm going to end the video here. Uh, in the next video, we will go to uh, assemble the middle section with the frame and put the uh, uh, motors and the belts. Uh, thank you for your uh, patience. Uh, if you have uh, any question or any suggestion, uh, please leave uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, uh, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell uh, button to get notified for the coming videos. Thank you again for watching, see you in the next video.